welcome to my youtube channel Moody mechanical engineering tutorials so onwards after this video we will discussing with the some of the objective type of questions for the metal cutting operations so let us start with the mcq on to the metal cutting operations first questions so in which operations motion of the job is rotary and the motion of the cutting tool is forward translating so there are the some of the options it will be given first that will be the turning operations planning operations milling operations and all of the above so basically we all know into any kind of operations onto the lathe machines so in the case of the turning operations the motion of the job is being rotary and the motion of the cutting tool is forward translating so in these questions the answer is turning second question which cutting condition affects the cutting temperature predominantly so the option like this first one that will be the depth of cut cutting speed feed and none of the above so basically this first three depth of cut cutting speed and feed that will be considering as a parameters of the machines so basically the cutting speed that will be affects the cutting temperature predominantly so in this case the answer is b and that will be cutting speed so cutting speed having a highest influencing by the temperature next question third which of the following is second hardest substance known so that question is regarding to the properties of the materials so there are the number of options first ceramics diamonds cubic boron nitride or you can say cbn and ceramics so after the diamond the second hardest substance is known as a cbn and that will be the cubic boron nitride so that will be the alloying element which will be influencing as a increasing the hardness into the materials so this one is the answer of the question c b and or you can say cubic boron nitride fourth questions which of the following tools are generally manufactured by powder metallurgy process so powder metallurgy is the one of the process for making a complicated jobs with the having a higher hardness so the options is low carbon steel abrasives high carbon steels and cemented carbides so basically for this question cemented carbide which will be having a higher hardness and that hardness it will be only manufactured by the powder metallurgy process so basically cemented carbide that will be manufactured by powder metallurgy process five number which type of cutting tool have a wide application on a lathe so the option is single point multi point both the single point and multi point and none of the above so according to the given options single point and multi point basically two types of tool system is being used but in case of the lathe machines the single point cutting tool it will be having a wide application in the field of manufacturing or productions so for this the answer is single point cutting tool which of the following is the example of multi point cutting tool says so from the definition of multi point cutting tool more than one cutting edge it will be used for cutting of the work piece materials so let us see the which kind of option is given to us first that will be the milling cutters so i think milling cutters it will be also considering as a multiple cutting tools second broaching tool so in my lecture the link is given into descriptions the nomenclature of the broaching tool so broaching tool is also considering as a multi point cutting tools so in which the three category of the cutting tool 
cutting edges it will be found onto the broaching tool rough tooth semi finish and finish so that will be also considering as a multi point cutting tool then third options both the milling cutters and broaching tools none of the above so i think milling cutter and broaching tool both are the multi point cutting tool so as from the given options the answer c both the milling cutters and broaching tool it will be act as a multi point cutting tools in next questions in how many groups cutting tools can be divided so in previous we already discussed basically tools is being divided into two categories single point cutting tool and multi point cutting tools so the answer for this and that will be two single point cutting tool and multi point cutting tool the cutting tool removes the metal from the workpiece in the form of the first option is solid blocks powder chips and all of the above so basically in case of the cutting tool that will be removing the metals it will be in the form of chips so i think in case of the ductile chips ductile materials it will be continuous chips and for brittle it will be discontinuous or you can say segmental kind of chips but basically the cutting tool removes the metal from the work piece in the form of chips either that will be continuous discontinuous or continuous with built up edge but the answer is in general that will be in the form of chips question number 9 which types of chips form while machining of brittle materials so we already discussed into the previous questions there are basically two types of material is being used for the production of any components and that will be the brittle and ductile so here talking about the brittle materials the brittle materials always makes the discontinuous types of chip so the first one is a continuous so continuous basically form into the ductile materials discontinuous or you can say segmental kind of chips so that will be form into brittle materials and third one built up edge and all of the above so for this questions the chips forms while the machining of brittle materials and that will be b discontinuous types of chips is being form in the case of the machining of brittle materials the angle between side cutting edge and end cutting edge is called as a first one that will be approach angle second that will be the nose angle third side relief angle and d end relief angle so for these questions for detailed study i already give a link in my descriptions for nomenclature you can say terminology of single point cutting tools so for that the angle between side cutting edge and end cutting edge is called as a nose angle so the answer for these questions it will be nose angles so in this video i discussing with the almost 10 objective type of questions which will be having a importance for the examinations i hope you understand this so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much